Are you ready, Joe? Are you ready for I'm Saturday? Ready, I'm ready. You're ready. You're ready. Are you ready for? I've got this interview. This is. Are you ready for Saturday? I mean, this might be more nerve-wracking. No, no. Obviously, we're, we're super excited. Obviously, it's a great occasion for the club. It's going to be a huge challenge coming up against a team what's been formidable this season. You know, they've got certainly got some really good individuals, and I say individuals, but they're playing really well as a team. Uh, you know, I watched them yesterday. Really good, really terrific in the in, in the way they went about their business and. And they're beating us twice as well this year, so we've definitely got a huge challenge on his hand this week. It's a great final for the neutrals, of course, because Wigan and Warrington and Saints and Leeds and whoever aren't in it. So yeah, no. Apart from Pickling, apart from Pickling, yeah. obviously on the black and white yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I think that's probably what makes this week a bit special. Obviously, there's going to be a new winner on that trophy, what God knows for how long. Um, but obviously, hopefully, it's us. Um, hopefully, we do everything right. You know, I've been down there twice now and lost on both occasions. So hopefully uh, we can do everything right this week and get the job done. Two teams coached by halfbacks as well. So can we expect an open game and both of you going to win it rather than trying to suffocate the opposition and not lose it? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. I can probably see that the way Lee, the way Lee play, they play expansive rugby, don't they? So it's going to be a huge challenge just to even defending that as well. So first and foremost, you've got to get your defence sorted because obviously the attack threat that they bring. And Lyman, obviously Ben Reynolds have been a really good partnership, probably the best probably this season from what I've seen. Um, uh, the back the backfield as well, Josh Charlton, Tom Briscoe got a nightmare to put down. So if they get their sets rolling, it's going to be really hard to defend. And you know you mentioned about us as well. And uh, yeah, we we fuck 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 more, so we've got to be able to do, get our game plan ready and sorted as well, and make sure we're on as well. You mentioned as well that you've got to lose one maybe to win one. Have people mentioned 2015 a lot around the club because it was brilliant to get there but you didn't capitalise on the opportunity. I presume, does that figure this time that we need to make the most of it? Uh, yeah, it got it got mentioned straight after the semi-final and it, and it needed to be mentioned because you don't want to repeat the same mistake twice. Um, so that definitely got mentioned but it won't get mentioned again because because it's a totally brand new, new side that we've got here. You know, we're building a culture, we're building connections and, you know, and things like ethos off the field, you know, we're a really good, good bunch of group and that, that 2015, we're a different team, you know, it's a different time and, you know, so it only needed to be mentioned once for it to stick in the back of his mind and it is there, so hopefully we can do uh, the club proud and the fans proud and, and a bit of pain. And this would be great for signing a new three-year deal, this, this would be the great starting point for you because you mentioned it's yeah. about building, yeah. you don't want this to be your only final? No, no, exactly. Obviously, we play rugby league, don't we? To uh, play, play, play final, finals for it. That's what it's all about, you know. And, um, hopefully, now uh, like, I've been mentioning it as, as well around here is uh, the expectation soon changing. You know, the expectation now is not just to go out there and do the best. You know, the expectation now is to win trophies and do the best you can possibly be. And what better way to start this week? You mentioned, I think, in the semi-final that the King family was sort of more supporting the other side rather than you. Have they all come back together and, and you've got loads of uh, relative support? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I think they're, they are a bit neutral when it comes to when I'm playing up against my brother, but... Uh, but no, just that week That week as a whole, it was a terrific week, it was a really good occasion, I'm trying to really pull that to one side now, we're really moving on from that. Um, you know, my, my family can't wait, it's going to be a really exciting week and we're really looking forward to it. The support, you had plenty of it at Headingley for the semi-final, what are you expecting when you run out, just for the warm-ups at uh, Wembley on Saturday? Yeah, no, it's going to be a huge occasion, every time I've been down there, even as a fan and even more as a player, you know, the goosebumps as you're walking out, the singing of a band with me, and, you know, before you go out, and, you know, it's just, just the whole build-up. That's what I love about the Challenge Cup. It's not just about the occasion there, it's the whole week build-up. It's, it's great, it's fantastic. Even as a young kid, you dream about the World Cup. Uh, Challenge Cup, not the World Cup. I mentioned World Cup there a few times, the Challenge Cup. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a huge challenge, and hopefully we get this uh, prep and we do it ourselves justified right on the day.